police officers are God's servants. Hello. In our last devotion, Be Subject to Civil Authorities, we learned that God established judges, governors, police. He established them. Why? Well, to stop crime. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. I like to watch a TV show. It's called I Almost Got Away With It. I noticed that the people escape from jail, from the police, from the courts, whatever, and they tend to be paranoid. They're always looking around, thinking they're going to get caught. They're scared of this. They're paranoid scared. Even when they're inside their houses, they're paranoid. That's good. They should have that kind of fear. That does not mean that we need to be afraid of the police. No. It is true that there are few policemen who are bad. Are we focusing on them? No. We are focusing on who Paul is writing to, who he means right now. He is talking about the Roman authorities. In verse 3, what does it say? Do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right and you will be commended. You know, that verse, it asks a question. Do you want to be free from fear? From paranoia? Do you want to be free? Then obey the law. Do the right thing. If we as Christians do the right thing, then other people, they're going to notice that, and they're going to be impressed that we are Christians. Let's look at verse 4a. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. You see, in that verse, it says that the person who is in authority, if it's a governor or a policeman or what it is, God, they are God's servants. Is that like this person is a Christian? Question? Well, really, most people today are not Christians. But these are God's servants for our good. What does that mean? God's servants? What's it mean? For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. Now, Paul, he knew that the government was not always following what they said they would. History shows this. The government had become bad. Right now, the government there, it was bad. Long ago, the Roman government, it took Paul, threw him in jail, beat him. This is the same Roman government that Paul is telling the people, the Christians of long ago, to obey. Now, that does not mean to just blindly obey what they say. No. The point is general. There's a basis of the law here in this nation that has been established, what for? Well, to punish criminals. Secondly, to protect the people who are innocent. God gave us secular authorities, what for? Well, first, for our well-being. And secondly, to protect us from chaos. If there's no order to anything, it's all messed up. We need that. Thirdly, to keep us safe from criminals. Of course, the government often fails, yes. We need to be truthful about that. But we don't just throw out having a government. Our government is there for our good. If there was no government, nothing, there would be total chaos. God works through the government to keep us safe. There's more reasons that we need to submit to our government than reasons that we need to rebel. Quorum deal. 
To live quorum Dio is to live one's entire life in the presence of God, under the authority of God, to the glory of God. Everyday Breadcrumbs, Daily Devotional Studies for the Deaf by Brad and Tammy Schaff, taught in American Sign Language, ASL, by Brad, with voiceover by his wife, Tammy. All verses from English Standard Version, ESV.